I'm moving. I am moving in two days and I really need to start packing up my makeup in this situation. I also have a lot of empties and things that I'd like to declutter. So I'm gonna bring you through all of that. So it's a little bit of an empty and declutter in one. So let's just dive right in. All right, pretty generic, but I just have a loofah here. This loofah has been with me for a while and it's definitely time to declutter it. I don't need to move with it. Uh, I have a new one downstairs and you should be switching out your loofahs pretty often anyways because they can harbor a lot of bacteria. So highly recommend switching out or at least deep cleaning your loofah every couple months, but I'm moving and again, I have a new one, so I don't need this. So next up, I have the L'Oreal Everpure Sulfate Free Scalp Care and Detox Scrub. So I use this because it's supposed to help, oh, it's a little goopy still. It's supposed to help clean your scalp and get rid of buildup and stuff like that. I don't know if it actually exfoliated and removed buildup from my scalp. It felt fine. It's a little minty, so it has like a little bit of a cooling effect and it literally feels like exfoliator for your face. Like it has those beads in it. I don't really know if it did anything to be completely honest. I didn't notice a huge difference, good or bad. I just can't say whether or not it actually did anything. I don't know if you notice that type of thing. It's my first time using a product like this. I do really like the L'Oreal Ever Pure line though. I use a lot of their shampoos and conditioners and I love them. I highly recommend those. Next Next, I have a Biolage, is that how you say it? Uh, yeah, Biolage, I think, conditioner, and I just didn't really like this. It's not empty. There's still maybe this much left, but I just did not like this. This is the Exquisite Oil Moringa Oil Blend. First off, it does not feel super conditioning. It's fine, but it's not super hydrating or anything. And then I also just have the hardest time getting it out of the bottle. All right, up next I have some Sonia Kasia brush cleaner. This is brush and sponge cleaner. Doesn't really say anything else on it. This was fine. I just don't really think that you need a brush or a sponge cleaner. This also had fragrance in it. So I'd rather use like a gentle soap that doesn't have fragrance because you are going to be putting those brushes on your face. I wouldn't repurchase this, but it did a good job. But in the future, I'm probably just going to keep using face wash, which is what I normally do. I use a gentle cleanser to clean my brushes. All right, here's a declutter item. I'm getting rid of my scalp massager. It's just like very dirty and I keep trying to clean it and it just stays dirty. Kind of just grosses me out. I don't know. I like scrub it and it just keeps staying dirty. So I've had this probably for four years anyways it's probably time to declutter this and get a new one but I don't use it that often it feels nice and it's good for massaging your scalp but I can also just do that with my fingers oh I almost dropped it. Another declutter, I'm going to get rid of this salt scrub. This is Old Whaling Company Creamy Shea Butter Blend Sea Berry Salt Scrub, and I really, really don't like this. You just feel like really oily and a lot of residue is left on the skin, so I don't like that feeling at all. So a lot of these products that I'm decluttering, I'm going to give them to family and friends and ask if they want them, because just because I don't like it doesn't mean that other people won't like it. But another item I'm decluttering is this Too Cool for School Mineral pink salt deep cleansing oil this is so heavily fragranced i can't use it it's not really a good fragrance either and it's fine Ooh, yeah that's bad and it's fine as far as getting your makeup off it's not fantastic it's fine but the scent is horrific so this is going to be decluttered. All right, we have an empty. This is the Detox Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar in the original scent. First off, this is like a super tiny can and this only lasted me one use, which is fine. It's just interesting to note because I feel like the cans of dry shampoo that you get normally from the store are not that much bigger. So I don't know how long this would actually last you, but I did not like it. I got a lot of white cast in my hair. And even though I went like this consistently, I felt like I couldn't get that white cast out. And it just looked like I had like a lot of gray hair or something and I don't like the scent. It actually was very, very overpowering. It gave me a migraine. I don't think my hair looked better after because again, I had that white cast and my hair just looked dry after. Up next, I have a perfume. This is Etoile Parfum by Fragonard. This is a French brand. They have a factory in Paris. It's really cool if you're ever there to go to it. And I just use this all up. I love this perfume. I do love this though. 
Up next, we have a declutter. This is the Secret Cool Water Lily Invisible Solid Deodorant. And this just doesn't work on me. I've tried it a lot. Like, there's not that much left. Uh, maybe there is. Uh, there's a decent amount left, but like, not a ton. And it just does not work. Like, I smell really bad when I use this. And it just, again, it does not work for me. So I can't really keep this because I'm not going to use it because I smell horrible when I use it. It just does not work for me. Secret in general does have really, really great deodorants and they typically are the best for me personally, but this one just did not do it. Okay, this is a detangler. This is the whatever, wherever, leave-in conditioner and it says prime hydrate detangle with supercharged naturals. This was fine. I got this as a little tester from Sephora. I always like to test out stuff and hair care products and whatnot. So I was like, oh, this is great, travel friendly. Again, this just didn't last very long. I mean, it is a mini bottle, but if your leave-in conditioner is really good, you can probably get at least three uses out of something this size. Next, I have some Verb hair care. I am gonna do an entire video on Verb hair care, so I don't wanna go too much into detail right now, but this is the third shampoo and conditioner set I have used from Verb, and I do really like them. They are more so affordable from Sephora. They're still a little bit high priced. They're like $18 a bottle and you can often find them on sale. So if you can, I would recommend doing that obviously, but these are good. They're not the best I've ever used, but they are pretty solid. I don't think that they lather as much as other shampoos and I really like a, a lot of lather. So I do find myself using more than other products just because of that lack of lather, but they smell really great. They are well-priced for being a high-end brand and I do like them. Another product I am decluttering is this e.l.f. Makeup Lock and Seal. First off, I've had this forever, and second, I never use it because I don't really think it works and I don't really know how I can use this without causing irritation. So I always have a problem with my eye makeup leaking because my eyes are really watery. So I bought this to hopefully help mitigate that situation, maybe put this on top and it wouldn't leak, but it is like, very chemically. You should probably not be putting this around your eyes. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. Again, I got this a long time ago. And I'm also gonna get rid of this Glam Glow, Glow Star, Nude Glow Moisturizer. I It's a tinted moisturizer. I just didn't really like this. I don't typically actually really think anything from Glam Glow is good or worth the price. I mean, this is like a tester version, so I think I got this in one of those like Ipsy bags or something. I just don't really like it and I don't use it ever, so I'm gonna declutter this. Another product that I fully used up is this Aveeno body wash. This is a holy grail for me. Probably one of the only things I constantly repurchase over and over again, and this is just really, really great for sensitive skin. It lathers really nicely, but it's still hydrated which is really hard to find with sensitive skin skincare. If you've watched my empties before, you've probably seen this in another empty because I love it. It's always good. Never, never lets me down. Also used up this Brio Geo Be Gentle, Be Kind Kale and Apple Replenishing Superfood Conditioner. And I, look, to sum it up, I feel like Brio Geo is fine, but not worth the price. And I feel like a lot of the time I pick up their products and they stink to high heaven. Maybe it's just gone bad by the time I got it, but I also have gotten things straight from Sephora from them and they just have not performed well. Like I've gotten the leave-in conditioner spray, don't love that. The only thing I've ever really liked is the leave-in mask version of this, which is coming up soon. But I have this shampoo and conditioner I brought with me on a trip and it was fine, but not great. I don't really recommend Briogeo entirely as a brand, but again, I will get into that more when I do my individual Briogeo video. Oh, here's the shampoo that went with this. So shampoo and conditioner set. Cetaphil, this is the Cetaphil Pro Restoraderm Eczema Soothing Moisturizer. And I loved this stuff. I raved about it on my channel before. It's just a really nice gentle cream you can use on your body, on your face, and it's very lightweight and thin, but still very moisturizing. So I appreciate that and I just really liked this. I would repurchase, but I have so many lotions that I need to use up first, so I'm gonna do that and probably then repurchase this. All right, up next I just have some toothpastes. This is the Crest Baking Soda Peroxide and Whitening, and this is the Colgate Optic White. I do feel like the Optic White does 
whiten the teeth. Not dramatically, but it does something. I don't think this one, this Crest one, actually does anything. But I always buy a whitening toothpaste because all I can do is try, right? So I do like these. They were good toothpastes, but as far as the actual whitening goes, these Colgate ones, I do see a little bit of a difference, I think. All right, I have three candles here, and these were all from Marshalls. This one is M of WG, and it smells beautiful, but also just the packaging and the container is so pretty. I loved it. The packaging is beautiful. It smelled really nice. It was a good candle. And the scent was apple and pine. Up next, I have one of the DW Home ones from Marshalls. This is vanilla pumpkin, and it's very cute is what the inside looks like. I mean, it's done now, but this also smelled really good, like a fresh fall scent, and I really liked this. And then my last candle, this is Suede, and this is from Urbane from DW Home. This one smells really good. This one's more of like a wintery fragrance to me. I would say the DW Home ones did burn significantly faster than a normal candle would, so that's something to keep in mind, but because of the price, it's pretty comparable. We're getting down to the bottom here. So I just have one of these dermaplaning face razors. I actually really don't recommend doing that to your face at all. I feel like my hair has grown back more noticeable and thicker and looks worse than it did before. So I really don't actually recommend doing this. I'm not going to anymore. I mean, maybe over here a little bit, but especially on my must mustache area, I just didn't really, I just really don't recommend these because I feel like my hair grows back worse. So it's not, not worth it to me. And more L'Oreal. So this is the Ever Strong Sulfate Free Thickening Shampoo. I also had the conditioner, but I think I did that in a previous declutter slash empties haul. And I really love these a lot. I've tried every single kind they have, and I will do a video if that is of interest. Let me know down below of this whole L'Oreal sulfate free ever pure line. They're like my favorite shampoo and conditioner for the price. So I do highly, highly recommend these. Finally finished up this AHA BHA from Glow Recipe. I have a couple videos on my channel that I'll link above and below but I had all these Glow Recipe products that I was trying to get rid of because I just don't really love them that much. Out of all the products I tried, I do think this is the best one, but even so, I don't like it. It's very goopy and I don't like to leave it on my face because it's so heavily scented and uncomfortable, again, because it's goopy and it's sticky, so I don't recommend this. I know a lot of people do like this because they say it can help with your acne and whatnot, but I don't think that when I have a pimple, this helps peel it or make it go away any faster. So I'd rather stick with another AHA, BHA. I just don't completely see the hype with this one and I don't love any Glow Recipe products to be completely honest. These are gonna be some declutters. These are like nasal sticks swabs that are supposed to help clear out your nasal passages when you are stuffed. And it's to me just kind of like Vaseline in a really thick applicator and it's goopy and it's I just don't think it does anything. It just feels like sticking a Q-tip with Vaseline on up your nostril. And it's very messy and the thing is a little bit too big for my nostril. So I like push it up there and then all of the goopiness just comes out all over the place. So I don't love these and I just don't really use them. So I'm gonna ask if anyone in my family wants them and declutter them. Here is the mask that is the same as the shampoo and conditioner I was showing you from Briogeo. This I did like, it smelled really, really good, which is shocking to me. It didn't have that weird musty scent that a lot of the Briogeo products have in my opinion. And I did really like this. It smelled so strangely similar to the NYX Marshmallow Primer, which is so weird. I would say they're like a scent dupe. It has like a kind of cotton candy-ish smell to it, but I do really like this. I thought it worked well and the scent was really pleasant, which was shocking to me as far as Briogeo goes. Two sponges, so this is a Real Techniques one, and this is one I got off of Amazon. This is just like really old and I used it for years and I don't need to keep holding on to it. And then the Real Techniques one, I did use for a very consistent amount of time. I just don't really like it and this is old anyway, so I'm gonna declutter. Peace Out Retinol Eye Stick. I have so many videos on this. One of them is me digging out the rest of the product and there is literally nothing left in here. Like I scooped it all out. And then I have a completely empty Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum. 
I do really like this. I do think that hyaluronic acid tends to clog my pores, especially on my nose, but this is the best priced, most effective hyaluronic acid I've ever used. It really especially helps with my cheek area. I feel like when I use this, I instantly see a difference with the amount of plumpness and moisture in my T-zone. So I do really like this and I do recommend it. And I have a couple other options I am trying out right now. So at the end of those, I will let you know how this ranks overall. But so far, it is my favorite hyaluronic acid. Another declutter. I have the Mario Badescu drying lotion. It just does not work for me anymore. It's not really good for your skin anyways, and this is super old, and I feel like I keep digging in there and not getting anything out on the Q-tip anyways. I actually might give this to my mom because I know that she really likes to use these. I have both of these lotions that I got from Yes Style, and I loved them both. This is the Purito Santella Unscented Recovery Cream, and this is the Ionic Beta Glucan Daily Moisture Cream. Both of these were amazing. They were well priced. They were around $10 from Yes Style. They're super, super soft. They did not irritate my skin or my eyes whatsoever, which is very hard to do because a lot of things do irritate my eyes and my skin. And these were just super, super gentle and very hydrating. They were unscented. I really can't say enough about these. Highly, highly, highly recommend. And I have a La Roche Posay Extra Dry Skin Body and Face Lipicar Balm Intense Repair Moisturizing Cream. So this is the Lipicar Balm, but even a step higher than that is the super duper moisturizing one. I did not love it for the face. It did irritate my eyes. And while it is super, super moisturizing, I can't use it if it's gonna irritate my eyes. So I don't recommend putting this near your eyes if you have any sensitivity, but for the body, it is extremely hydrating and I do like it. The only thing is because this is so thick, I seemed to have a problem when I got around like this much left. It just didn't wanna come out of the pump anymore. So I had to open it up every time I wanted to use it and smack the bottle against my dresser to get all the product down to the bottom to get it out in my hand. And I just don't really wanna to have to be doing that. So packaging isn't fantastic. Okay, those are all my empties and my decluttering situation. I have a lot of garbage here. So now I can get rid of this, recycle, give things away. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next video.